Our next guest, Daniel Fried, was working at the Polish desk at the U.S. State Department when the wall came down. He later became America's ambassador to Poland, and he joins us from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So we just saw uh, Lech Walesa in Berlin today. How much do you think the movement he led in Poland in the early 1980s, a solidarity movement out of the uh, Gdansk shipyard, contributed to the fall of the Berlin Wall? Enormously. Without solidarity, there would not have been a fall of the Berlin Wall. The Poles showed the way, and Lech Wałęsa and his chief associates were the right people at the right time. By this time, 20 years ago, there was already a solidarity-led government in Poland, and that government showed what was possible that year. They were the people carrying the torch in, at the head. Some also say that uh, the former president, Ronald Reagan's uh, hardline stance towards the Soviet Union and that famous speech that he gave in Germany at the Brandenburg Gate, demanding that the wall be torn down, was critical to what happened. Uh, do, do you agree? Partly. President Reagan was right about the nature of communism and the evil empire and right that it was doomed in the face of democracy. but. The credit, first of all, goes to the people on the ground. They made the changes. And part of the credit goes to Gorbachev, who was trying to reform communism. And from the West, it wasn't just the hard line. It was also the outreach, the support for democracy, and the support for the Helsinki Accords, and human, putting human rights front and center in our relations with those societies. So, so you believe that really uh, the causes originated within the Soviet empire itself? Well, of course. The first condition was the failure of communism. The second condition was the reaction among the peoples to that failure, which was to embrace democracy as the alternative. And the third condition was the reactions of various outside players. There was an op-ed piece that I wanted to ask you about this weekend, and it describes the last 20 years in Eastern and Central Europe, and it says that it was an unprecedented success. Give us your sense of how you think that life has changed there politically and economically since the wall came down. When we look at the past 20 years, we have to compare what has happened, not just with fantastic hopes for paradise on Earth, because life isn't like that, but start with the predictions people made at the time. I remember those very well. Most predictions were that all of this would fail and fail badly and very quickly. The fact that democracy took hold, that living standards have risen, that Europe is whole and free now is astonishing. That's very good news. The failures, the mistakes, the things left undone, yes, that's all true. But the past 20 years has been a story of great success, and we should pause and remember it. All right, Daniel Fried, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure.